is cynicism, distrust, dissatisfaction, uh, a sense of <coughs> lack of control of your future. I mean, when, when the political system doesn't work, people get, are disconnected, and we need things that pull us together, not pull us apart. I would, I would change your, you, you can say three years, but I would say this is, you've been at it longer than me, maybe, yeah. and it's longer than three years. There's something that's gone on over time, but it's accelerating. It's getting worse, not better. I also would say that there are significant number of instances in which there is cooperation between Republicans and Democrats in Congress. They are not the things that make the news, because the news likes the fight. So there are better, it's sometimes better, I think, than people think, but it's not on the big issues, immigration, the budget, social security, the things that are hugely important, <coughs> those apparently are reserved for political talking points, political point scoring, and we never seem to come together to solve those problems. I don't know what the, I mean, you think Congress is divided, so are citizens. It, in many ways, I think we reflect how divided people are. My town hall meetings are certainly different than they used to be. There's a lot of contention. Not that they were ever like easy, but people feel strongly about certain things and other people feel strongly about them in the opposite way. And I don't know, I mean, this sounds odd coming from a, somebody who's an elected official, but somehow people have allowed politics to become the issue in their lives. I would encourage you to go back to Lions Club and to church and to bowling leagues and get involved in things that pull you together instead of the one thing that we seem to have in this country. I'm not suggesting that you, I, I wouldn't have a town hall meeting if I didn't think that your, your views were important, if I didn't think that politics mattered. But we've allowed it to become so important that we define our relationships with other people based upon their politics or their political view. And we used to, I mean, commissioner, it used to be, I, I've had a commissioner, the, the longest serving commissioner in Rollins County, I'll come up with his name as soon as I walk out the door, said if we worked it like you guys did, there's one Democrat on our commission and two Republicans. If we couldn't get along, we'd get nothing done. And why can't you all just get along? It used to be that way, I think. Sure, we, I mean, we, there are differences. We don't expect everybody to agree. But the process by which we put in place to resolve differences is where we've got to focus our attention on. Not on the things that... I, I think the po politics of today is to come to you and appeal to you in a way that is emotional, is uh, divisive. Uh, we're on this team and you're on this team. We all can be on different teams, but the goal is to have a good game, a fair game, and resolve our differences, not just have at the end of the day Isn't a fight. Teamwork? That's called teamwork. teamwork. That's a good word. And what is there has been, been done the last three years. I think rural communities, you tell me, Gypsum has a better job of getting along. My guess is in Gypsum, you know who, I hate labels, liberals, conservatives, Republicans, Democrats, Protestants, Catholics, whatever the division is, you know who in Gypsum is what. But it doesn't matter because you go to the same grocery store and you have a football game on Friday night and if you have a fight in Gypsum among the differences, nothing good would ever happen.